Hello, it is Thursday evening, and I am here in a house that is not mine. I am looking after a cat. <laughs> His name is Murphy. He is not currently present. We'll track him down later. And I thought I'd bring you along for a crazy weekend. I'm here until Sunday, and uh, we're gonna read some books and have some fun, and it's gonna be a good time. I'm uh, gonna go through all these, see if there's any from any countries that I might not have covered yet. But I also brought some library books to read as well. <laughs> So these are the books that I brought with me. Uh, you'll have seen these two before. I kind of keep putting them off because I think they're a bit heavy. They are quite short. We got The Quest for Krista T by Krista Wolf. This is my book for Germany. And then we have Night, which is very short, but very... Uh, it's about World War II, so it's not gonna be a good time. So I got those two. We have The Inseparables by Simone de Beauvoir. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I saw it at the library, so I picked that one up. Kim Ji Young, born 1982. Another one, I'm not sure. Don't know what's going on. I think it's Korean. Yeah, it's Korean, and um, that's all I know. I tend to go into books without a whole lot of prior knowledge. I kind of like suss the vibe and then don't really, you know. Why read a synopsis when you could just read the book? We have, of course, the lesbian an aquatic horror that everyone's been talking about. I saw this at the library too and I thought I might as well give it a go, see what the hype is about. And then I found this on the bookshelf over there. This is by Juno Diaz and it is a book of short stories from the Dominican Republic, which is a country I have not yet read from. So this is going on the pile. It's already 10 18 p.m. so I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done tonight, but that's fine. We have all of the next three days, pretty much. And we're taking it easy. There's no pressure, ma'am. Don't expect to get through all of these. They're just the options. They're the options. I brought uh, mostly quite short books because I didn't want to have to carry them on the train. I was like, should I bring The Count of Monte Cristo? And then I, it's, ju it's just, it's so heavy. <laughs> this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> it's called, I didn't bring enough jumpers, so I, I, I've made a blanket into my friend. It's very cozy, but it has a lot of cat hair on it, which I mean, I guess is understandable. Makes it a little difficult to walk, but we're managing. I've been living in a dust bowl with half closed eyes. <laughs> so 
So I have perhaps somewhat foolishly signed up for a half marathon and so I have bought this very expensive Solomon brand hydration vest in order to, you know, have the right gear and stuff. I'm only going on an 8k run today so it'll probably be an hour maximum. So I don't really need this but I just want to try it out, see how we go. I think I might need to loosen it a little bit. I think I may have gone a size too small because my boobs are a formidable force. It seems fine. I think these are gonna be a bit annoying. So I've planned a 8k loop. I'm about 12 weeks out from the marathon. Half marathon. <laughs> so I still have a bit of time but I do need to start doing some proper training otherwise I'm going to suffer. I'm gonna go via Mary Creek which is a uh, glorified urban drain but it is quite pretty and uh, I should be home in time to feed the cat. I've started Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. I'm about 70. How far am I? Hi. I'm about 70 pages in. Uh, it's a bit creepy. It's a bit creepy. It's a bit creepy but I think I like it. We'll see. Very hard to get a GPS signal under a railway bridge. So I'm trying to find the creek. I don't have a map because my phone is in the back of this thing that I don't want to take off. But this looks promising. I think, I think we're gonna be all right. This hydration pack is actually quite nice. It's very good to have water whenever I want it, but these things keep hitting me in the face. Seasoned runners, if there's a way to prevent that, let me know, cause that would be very nice. Super bouncy, I hate it. About 4Ks in, so about halfway. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I, I have a Coca Cola and or general busy sugary drink craving, so we may need to satisfy that later. Look at this pretty market garden there. Look how magical. <sighs> like we're right in the middle of the Melbourne suburbs, but there are little bits and pieces of the natural world that are very nice. I mean, there is this, <laughs> which spoils the fun a little. I think it's nearly uh, dinner time. I am deceased. <laughs> All right, so we went 7.66 kilometers uh, in 57 minutes, which is a 727 kilometer pace, which is pretty much bang on what I want to run for my half marathon. So that's very exciting that I can maintain that for an, a, a distance. It's only a third of the distance they'll be running, but you know, I still got two months to go, so. <laughs> the splits are not, not great. I tend to start very fast, which I know is very common. My first kilometer is my fastest kilometer, 619. Then there's a 717, 749, 903, 637, 801, 739, and then 628 to finish, which is fine. I just need to work on being a bit more consistent, but I do like stop and walk. <laughs> and there's interesting things to look at, which is fine, you know? I run like mostly for my brain, not to like hit times or if my brain wants to stop and look at pretty things. That's what we're out there to do really. So I'm happy with that. The hydration vest I think was a success. I think it was a success. I drank 
about almost a whole one and then maybe another half. So maybe like 600, 700 mils, which is more than I thought I would drink, but I was kind of, I don't know, I was sipping. I may need to get a two liter bladder. You can put a two liter bladder in the, in the backpack part and then I'll have three liters in total um, for longer runs, but I should be able to fill up along the way, I would imagine. We'll see. But yes, I've fed the cat. Uh, he's doing great. He's doing great. He's having a great time. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the supermarket, get some stuff, and then I'll read some more. Is the plan for tonight. So, I may be sunburned. <laughs> I did not put sunscreen on, because I'm an idiot. The Australian sun is more powerful than your average sun. Uh, she, she is a deadly laser. Sugary beverage acquired. Actually, is Pepsi Max the sugar-free one? It is. Okay, well, we unsuccessfully acquired a sugary beverage. This is just a regular beverage. Huh, this is also a sugar-free beverage. Wow, I really failed my mission, hey. I guess it doesn't matter. It's got electrolytes. All right, I'm gonna do the dishes. I'm gonna try and finish this, or at least make some significant progress. We're about nearly halfway. And then I'm gonna make dinner and maybe find the cat. <laughs> It is 10 o'clock at night, something like that. I've been very tired, so I've just been taking things slow. Uh, I finished the book. It was very good. It was very weird. Uh, it was kind of pretty much what I expected uh, based on what I've heard people say about it on the internet. Yeah, there's these uh, women who are married and one of them gets stuck in a submarine for five months at the bottom of the ocean. And uh, there are consequences and it's a wild time. Look at this boy. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna make some food and then I might start a book or I might just go to sleep. We'll see what the vibe is. Uh Hello, it is Saturday. It is 3 p.m. because I may have slept in just a little. I didn't sleep in until 3 p.m. I've been doing things. I've been editing the video that you're currently watching. I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup, but like Asian style, because I have some like hoisin kebab stuff in the fridge that I made last night. And then also I've got egg noodles and udon noodles. And I think today is just gonna be a chill day. I don't really feel like leaving the house. Uh, it's quite warm outside, so it's not really particularly sensible to go for a run. And I think me and Murphy are just gonna chill out, although Murphy is I, he's somewhere outside. He's a very independent boy. That's the plan. Uh, might read a book this afternoon. We'll see. Might even get some Uber Eats, because I never get Uber Eats, because I live in a country town most of the time, and um, there's just not a lot of options. I can get like KFC delivered for eight bucks, which is just completely unreasonable. So we might survey our options while we're in the big city. Yeah, I don't feel amazing. My head feels kind of weird, but uh, that's pretty standard for me. So it's all right, we're dealing with it. Um, I can't see him, so. I don't want to be dramatic, but I think I'm a culinary genius.
happened. I ordered a pizza. <laughs> it's the first, it's the first Saturday I've had off maybe since Christmas. I think, yeah, since Christmas. And it's like mid-March, so I deserve a Saturday night pizza party, I think. It's gonna be me and the cat, we're gonna have a great time. Meow. She's arrived. Working in hospitality is like, I order the cheapest thing on the menu and then tip 20%. Because <laughs> I too deliver food to people at unreasonable hours of the night. Murphy wants to go outside, but it is way past curfew, so that's not happening. He's very grumpy about it. Are you grumpy? Yeah. <laughs> halfway done with this book. The writing's very good, the characters and setting and stuff are very strong. Yeah, we're, uh, all the short stories are kind of in the same world, they're kind of like slices of life, but very intense slices of life. Yeah, it's good, I'm gonna finish it and then probably go to bed. Or I'll start another book, I don't know, we'll see how tired I am. The cat is still asleep, I think. Hey buddy. Yeah, he's out of it. <laughs> an omelet. It's a uh, Sunday, so heading off this evening, but uh, the cat is, he's fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. So it's omelet time, baby. Gotta use up all the rest of the stuff I bought. Come back to my corner, it's been too long I can never flip it in one piece. I mean, it'll still taste fine. It's just very sad. All right, it is two o'clock. I'm leaving at about probably five. This is 120 pages, so it should take me probably two hours, maybe less, because uh, it's not too dense. And I do need to finish it because I need to take it back to the library. So that's the plan for the next next couple hours. We'll try and smash it out, and then I gotta like clean and leave. <laughs> the book. I finished the book. It was a lot. <laughs> very well written, very powerful, very uh, just a lot. It was a lot. All right, let's do a brief reading summary and then I will head home. We started with Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. Um, very weird, but I did enjoy it. I don't think that the spine genre should be gay and lesbian, though. I think it should probably be horror, because would this story have worked with straight people? Yes. Would this story have worked without horror? No. Anyway, very spooky, may have nightmares. Just lots of very vivid bodily stuff. So if you're not into that, maybe steer clear. But very unique, for such a unique story. Drowned by Juno Diaz, very strong characters in place. Just a bunch of short stories set in the same kind of world. Uh, with some characters that we kind of follow throughout. No like overarching kind of narrative, well, Kind of, but just an enjoyable place to spend some time. Lots to do with poverty, lots to do with family. Yeah, I would recommend this. And then there's Night by Ellie Weissel. This is the kind of book that, like, I'm not the same human being afterwards, you know? <laughs> like, it's just a perspective-altering journey. Like, everyone, everyone should read this, but do be warned. Like, just, it's a lot. Yeah, like, I don't know how I'm gonna do my life. <laughs> after reading this. Gonna be thinking about this for a long time, I would imagine. So those are the three that we got done. And yeah, had a good time, hung out with the cat. I don't know where he is at the moment. Um, somewhere adventuring. Bye, buddy.